everyone, it's Wilder Gamer here bringing you guys a let's play in a brand new game. That's right, I am doubling down on my series that I'm uploading to this YouTube channel and holy shit, what a gem I have found for you. This is a awesome game called Soul Zero Mars Colonization. I cannot wait to bring this to you because it goes through colonizing the red planet. Check this out. We can go all over this planet. We can go to Gusev Crater, Arizona Mons, or Arcea Mons, I can't speak, uh, Cydonia, Meldry, whatever the hell that is. There's a thing, and each of them have, like, different, uh, resources on them. Go to a crater, another crater, or we could go to, like, the ice caps that has lots of water and methane, no gypsum or clay, okay, or we could go over here, we can go to Ceres and colonize that, or Europa, huh? Or maybe even that little tiny uh, thing in the sky that everyone's always bitching that we never went to, but we did. Alright, so, uh, we don't need training, pfft, training. Alright, we're gonna go to Gusev Crater, current population zero, what is this? Mission challenge, colony planning. Established colony with a population of 20 with zero deaths. This challenge requires planning and intelligent allocation of resources. Okay. Um, cool story. I guess these are like badges. Cool. Uh, this game is not on uh, Steam right now. It's on Steam Greenlight. Kind of a pain in the ass to find though. Uh, if you guys like the game, I'll put a link in the description down below if you guys want to find that. So it will be down there in the doobly-doo. Uh, let's start a new game on Gusev Crater. Current population zero. New game. Uh, meteorite impacts dust storms. None normal or frequent. Uh, we'll do normal. Because I'm not a pussy. Alright, and here we have our um, rocket ship. The colonization of Mars has begun. A launch window will occur every 120 souls. Bring enough food, water, and supplies to survive. Let's close that shit. Uh, let's see, we need to bring a small rover. This is going to be an unmanned mission. What is this? Mars rovers are essential for exploring the Martian surface and for locating materials and other natural resources. Minerals. That word is minerals. I fucked that up. Rovers are self-sustaining thanks to a solar panel and do not require any resources to operate. Close. Nice. Okay, so we're going to bring one of those. Uh, we don't need a methane extractor. We're not going to bring an astronaut because this is just going to be an unmanned uh, kind of a survey mission. All right, we don't need a weather satellite. What does weather satellite even do? <clears throat> a weather satellite coupled with a radar array on the Martian surface allows meteorite and dust storms to be predicted in advance. Build multiple radar systems to increase the lead time on a weather event. A genealogy lab is required to launch a weather... Oh, geology lab. That confused the hell out of me. Okay, so we need lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of supplies. Okay, so we can only carry uh, 13 crates of supplies. We're going to bring some water to round that out. So we'll bring 10 water and 10 food. And then 13 crates of supplies and our rover. Launch that. And there goes our rocket! Look at it! It's so awesome! Oh, it's so cool! Look how cool that is! Whee! All right, and this is our path to the red planet. Here is, I'm assuming, like, this is probably Venus, right? This is probably, like, Earth. And so we're launching from Venus, which is weird. Okay. A yellow triangle next to the population count indicates more astronauts or colonists or news. Bleh. Disasters will occur if the population is too low. Okay, so that's cool. So we move around with WASD, and we can scroll in and out. Um, and this is, I guess, our map. Okay. So we've got a map here and a thing. We need to select a landing site. So I'm gonna put us down over here, Zs. Cause I just so happen to know there's no resources over here. Well, there's like a little bit of resources here. So to put resources on, we click that. So we need to get our rover out. Boom! Look at him. He's so cute. What should we name him? Oh, he's so cute. What do we name him, you guys? All right, let's have him uh, explore over here. Rover has discovered gypsum. Yay, gypsum. Gypsum is required to research the biology lab, allowing new farming techniques to be developed. Rover has, in fact, discovered gypsum. Okay, so we'll just send our rover off to do 
things and stuff over here's these he will explore everything these this is the uh, kind of explore view what's over here I don't know what that is what is this interface and controls astronaut blah blah blah, 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 blah. Three pre oh wow we can get really advanced terraform terraformer holy crap Wow! Cool! We can get a terraformer! Let's terraform the shit out of this planet! Hell yeah! Because, heh, if there's one thing humans are good at, it's fucking up the ecosystem of a completely new planet! Yay, terraforming! That sounds awesome! Let's do it! Alright, I found, I found red stuff! Uh, I discovered ore! Cool, I found gypsum and ore. All right, there's boulders here that we can use that we do not want to push into these craters. Uh, as a nice let's player has let me know, I found methane. Yes, the uh, maps are not procedurally generated. They are, um, the resources are in the exact same spot that I thought they were, which is excellent for us um, because that makes my let's play a hell of a lot easier now that uh, I know where everything is. I kind of know where everything is. Um, I at least know where the methane is and the water and pretty much everything. So this is kind of cheaty, but that's okay. It's my let's play. I can cheat if I want to. It's my let's play and I'll cheat if I want to. Here's some water. Actually, it's ice. Give me all your water. 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 Wow, there's a shitload of water over here. Okay, so I guess the the location of the resources is pretty much the same, except the amounts of the resources are vastly different. Wow, look at that. There is a hell of a lot of yellow stuff, which is... Is it clay? What is this stuff? What is this crap? Uh, or methane, I guess that's clay. I'm confused. I, I guess it's water. I guess, I guess the yellow stuff is still water. Ice. Yeah, more ice. I'm just going to explore a little bit around here. Okay, so I guess the, yellow, the blue stuff is like there's a lot of water and we want all of it. Um, I guess the yellow stuff is still water, there's just not that much of it. Okay, so that kind of makes sense. Um, I know there's a water deposit over here. Not sure about really anything over here, but we'll get to that. Um, we still... Um, so down here in the corner, uh, there is uh, a sort of cooldown thing. Uh, we can launch a new rocket every 120 souls or Martian days. Uh, right now we're on day 83. We're just still kind of chilling, uh, relaxing. You know, there, there's no one depending on us for survival. Up here is our uh, resource management. It's awesome. Okay, we got that. Good. Yeah, I found more ice. Lots of ice. Give me all the ice. Give me, like, all the ice, you know? Oh yeah, we've got water. <laughs> we've got water for days. This is cool. I, I love space games, you guys. I love everything about space. Um, I watch awesome shows on space, like, uh, gonna give a shout out to an uh, awesome show called Tomorrow. Uh, if you guys have never seen that, go check that out. Uh, ex uh, oh shit, we got a meteor shower, what the hell? Okay, well, it's a good thing that uh, we we didn't do anything, really. You know, we, we haven't really done anything. And we just have the one rover, and it's not really in any danger. Alright, so there's water there. Lots of water over here. Methane there. Which is really kind of all we need to start a colony. I mean, we've got ore. We know there's, like, not really a lot over here. That's okay. Um, I'm going to kind of loop around here and get back over to our base. Um, 
What was I talking about? I was talking about tomorrow. T M R O. Awesome, awesome show about everything space. Um, they cover uh, rocket launches. They cover the International Space Station. They cover all kinds of awesome, awesome shit. Definitely go check them out. All right. So our next launch is available. I'm gonna send our little. Oh wait, there's more water. There's more flipping water over here. Look at this. Jeez, we're just finding water for days on Mars, aren't we? Hey, did you guys know that we have found running water on Mars? Well, not really running water. It's more like mud. We found mud, though, on Mars, on another freaking planet. How awesome is that? Um, okay, so let's launch another vehicle to the Mars. The Mars, I sound dumb. Um, all right, so this one... Do we need a methane extractor? Methane extractors generate rocket fuel by extracting methane from the Martian atmosphere. These units are automated and provide a good way to refuel landers for the return trip to Earth. Unfortunately, these units do not provide enough fuel for larger rockets. Okay, so that's that's okay. We want to bring a forklift, definitely, and maybe a methane extractor. I've never seen one of those in use before, so let's do that. Let's also bring crates of supplies. Because uh, eventually we'll ne we will need uh, crates of supplies and um, water and food for our astronaut because they tend to die if you don't feed them and water them. So let's launch. Loading screen. Loading screen of victory. There's that. Awesome. Freaking perfect. All right. Now we choose our landing site one more time. Let's land over here, right next to our friend. Yes, let's have a little friend party. Hello, friend. All right, so now we're on the red planet. Again, we're going to take out our forklift and our th this thing. Okay, so I can't select that. Um, apparently, I'm 17% fueled up for that. That thing is actually... Are you getting fuel? I have no idea, but the, the thing is actually uh, sucking rocket fuel out of the freaking air. That's cool. All right, so we got our little forklift over here. I'm going to send him over there just to kind of get him over there. And that, I'm realizing, was sort of a wasted launch um, because now I don't really have anything. Shit. Uh, yeah, that was... Pretty damn wasteful. Got a forklift. Okay, so I can take that and grab the supplies from our uh, lander thing. Let me just make sure there's like nothing over here before I really commit to building a colony right here. Alright, so there's nothing over there. Let's go over here. Where's, where's my forklift? Okay, so this thing's now empty, and my forklift has all the supplies. <laughs> nice. He's just gonna chill over there now while this, uh... Rover just discovered ore. Oh, good. You've discovered ore. Great. Because that's totally helpful right now. Uh, go... Go over here. Do, do science stuff. Look at our little rover. He's so cute. Oh, and he's got a zappy laser. Zap, zap, zap. Zap, 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 zap. We need, do we need another rover, you guys? I think we should send another rover. What do you guys think? I don't know. All right. Um, he's just going to find some more resources. Yes, yeah, give me all the resources. Look at all this freaking water, you guys. We could plant a... Um, water extractor thing right here that would be cool all right found nothing there's a little bit of ore over here and we could we could set a route for him if we wanted to oh dang let's, let's set a route Or this adorable little mofo. Like all over the 
freaking map. That way I don't have to like fucking babysit him. Send you over there. Okay, that should be super easy for you to follow, right? Yeah, sure. Alright, now I don't have to really like do anything with <laughs> Ah parenting. So easy. I don't know what all these fucking moms are complaining about. Just send him off to college. Send him off to rover school. Rover has discovered clay. Yay. And methane. Good. We found more methane. Uh, methane helps us develop rocket fuel. Rocket fuel is awesome. Our little rover is so cute. I love it. We are waiting for another soul, and then we're going to bring our first astronaut in. Oh, wow. I discovered uh, white stuff. Uh, I think that's clay. Is that clay? No, the white stuff is gypsum. The yellow stuff is clay. And the blue stuff is water, right? I think you can suck um, water out of clay. Or is clay its own thing? No, I guess clay is its own thing. Oh, it's all color coordinated up here in the corner because I'm stupid. That's what it is. Okay. Excellent. Um, perfect. Wonderful. Fascinating. Finding lots and lots of uh, gypsum, which is good. I like gypsum because it does... Uh, something. I don't, I don't fucking know. What am I, a scientist? Pfft. Yeah, right. Okay. Waiting for one more soul. We're pretty dang close. What are these pipes? What is this? Show notification, show resources, scroll speed, game speed, blah, blah, blah. Uh, nice. Yes, I want nice shadows. I like I like shadows. Shadows are good. Uh, save and quit. Probably should have done this off screen. Resume. Oh god, did I just crash the game? Son of a bitch! Did I seriously just let oh, okay. Resume. Resume my colony. Oh my god. I thought I'd just crashed the game. That scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I apologize. I'm a moron. We will uh, continue on with our Badass colony. <laughs> Little hiccup there. Class Explorer. Nice. Alright, we are really close to another launch. Uh, what is science mode? Rover instrument laser Raman spectrometer. Spectral analysis. Gypsum, clay, or ice. Okie dokie. So it's doing science stuff. It, it, whoa, this thing's going off the charts. Hmm, yes. This is information that I, oh god. Uh, next launch of it. Oh good, next launch is available. Let's close that. Launch our first astronaut, you guys. I'm excited. Are you guys excited? Because I am. This is exciting. Um, astronaut. One. We need one astronaut. Well, come on. Can I not? Oh, there we go. One astronaut. Astronaut. Astronauts build structures, perform maintenance, and generally keep the colony running smoothly. Astronauts require a place to live. A lander is fine. Two kilograms of food and one kilogram of water per soul. Make sure to have enough food and water. As launches are only possible once every 120 souls. Okay, so I need at least 240 food. And at least 120 things of water and then we will load up with lots of crates there we go that's all that this rocket can carry astronaut has a very large ass alright so we're gonna launch our one astronaut alright now this is a man mission now Everything changes. We're gonna launch our astronaut. Look at him go! Whee! Everything changes now that we got someone depending on us for survival. 
so we need to set up things fairly quickly. We need to find a landing zone for them with zero resources, and I think I know exactly where I want to do that. I want to do that. Can, can I get my mineral thing up? Yep, okay. Okay, so I want to land, like, right... I would have liked to land here, but the game doesn't want me to. Okay, so I'll land over here. Can I... Can I land? Is that boulder seriously going to not let me land? Oh, that's not cool, bro. Not cool. Um, okay, so I'll land over this way. Right there. Good. Excellent. Okay, so we got our one astronaut. Awesome. Rover is discovered method. Uh, don't care. Alright, so move, repair, build, destroy. Okay, build. Uh, right away, I want to build a. What am I building? Solar panel, oxygen generator, prior tank. I want to build a pallet first. I think I want to build this pallet like, right? Kind of like over. Yeah, like over here, see. Alright, so he's gonna grab supplies, and then my, uh, his stupid little astronaut face is gonna walk all the way up there, and then my, um, forklift, which I completely forgot is here, is going to finish that. Actually, I think it only takes one supply, so, boop, that's done. Excellent. You, go there. Base, do you read me? And you, yes, I read you. Hello. We're going to build a straight hallway. How do I rotate with tab? Okay. I want this straight hallway to go up like that, and I want it to be like that. Excellent. Can you, like, auto automate shit, please? There. Stupid, stupid thing. Alright, he's gonna go build stuff. Uh, let's get a water tank over here. Right, like. there excellent so now we are generating water and our silly little uh, forklift is going to grab our supplies from all three of our landers here this thing is totally fueled up uh, there's no more supplies in it so let's launch this thing away goodbye waste of space not enough power we need power Okay, so the next thing we build is solar panel. Totally need one of those. Let's build a solar panel farm over here. So we need to farm power. We need like all the power. All right, now we're making water. Excellent. So we're not gonna die. Solar panel's done, excellent. So now we can um, need a methane tank. Over here's these. Boom, right there. Build a methane tank for rocket fuel. You'd like grab one of these, bro. There you go. Why, why you no have supplies? Go grab supplies, bro. There you go. Now, bring those over here. Silly. Spacecraft refueling complete. Why are you complete already? 14%, 14%, okay. Hmm. We have so much stuff to build, you guys. We got hallways and habitats and launch pads and greenhouses and methane tanks and oxygen generators and geothermal plants and terraforming stuff. Holy crap. Base, do you why, need me? why you no build? Why you no build methane thing? Get the hell over there. Place building over a methane sword. I just did! Just did that! Go! 
There you go, stupid little astronaut guy. Get you the hell out of there. Um, go go build a uh, another bloody hallway. Start going up. Still need stuff. This has I don't know. Um. Still got supplies for days. We need. Oh God, we need food. We need food like now. Hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up! Faster! All right, awesome. Our uh, methane tank is uh, gathering methane, which is good. And we got water, awesome, which is used in delicious, delicious rocket fuel. Yum 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 yum. Okay, good. That's good. Uh, I want a four hallway here. Next launch is available. Excellent. Uh, let's do that right now, actually. Okay, so we don't need another astronaut because uh, they take up resources. We don't need another forklift or methane extractor or even a new rover. What we really need is just lots of food. Lots of supplies. Let's do 12 crates and then a little bit more water. And let's launch that. Skip. Okay, we got. Oh, duh, this is a landing site. I'm dumb. I didn't know what the hell I was doing for a second. <laughs> right, let's land him like right there. Boom. Build additional solar. Oh god, we don't have enough power. Okay. So let's see. We got lots of supplies. Uh, let's build another solar panel because it's picky like that. Place building anywhere. And this thing is automated. Good. Not enough power. Water lost in frozen pipes. Oh, great. Freaking wonderful. Not enough power. How do I... Okay. Power's down here. Awesome. Stuff. Uh, there's another power thing. Let's build another uh, four-way deal. Boom. Right there like that. Because now I can start building stuff off of these. Boom. Like that, so I can build an oxygen generator. Uh, people like oxygen, right? Yeah. Let's build one there. Oxygen generator thing. And grab some supplies. Put them over there. That guy's bringing over supplies. Good. Plop them down right there. Excellent. Then let's build, what else are we building? We need a launch pad, but not before a greenhouse. Go, you stupid thing. So I'm gonna put a greenhouse right here. I will destroy this later. Just not right this second, because I need a greenhouse. Come on, do your job. Do your job as an astronaut, there you go. Okay, so we're losing two food a day. Low oxygen. Okay, I can give you oxygen. Open that and that. Then i open that and that. Greenhouse, 7%. Convert to refrigerator. Why would I want to refrigerate stuff? Food production, two kilograms per soul. Okay, so now we are food neutral. We're not using any food and we are gaining water. Nice. All right, so now we're not gonna die. We are not gonna die. We need more power, power. Give me power. Need more solar panel. Notify when dirty. Now I'm good. I'll figure it out. Sure, I will figure it out. I need a straight hallway right there because I want to build my launch pad way over here I want like branches of stuff ok 
There, it's still a little forklift is bringing the last of the supplies out. That thing's still full of supplies. Excellent. Build another. Do I want a straight hallway or do I want a four hallway? Uh, let's do a four hallway just in case. Yes. I'm liking our base, guys. I'm really liking our colony. Excellent. Okay, so our population doesn't really need to grow. We've got someone living on Mars. How freaking cool is this? So, uh, I think this is a good place to end the episode. We've got, we did a lot, you guys. We launched our first uh, few missions. We we've got um, lots of stuff to do. We've still got lots and lots of work to do. Uh, but we have someone living on Mars. How freaking cool is that? And surviving. Not only living, he is not only surviving, he's living. I mean, look at this. He's got all the water he could drink. He's got all the methane he can store. He's got oxygen and a garden and this hallway he can walk back and forth. Is. I mean, what more would you possibly want if someone living and surviving on Mars? And he's got work to do. Which is, you know, the the best part of it. I mean, he could he could work until the day he dies, and he probably will. So uh, we're gonna work this guy a little bit more. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Uh, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff to the channel because it helps me get seen. And um, if you guys want a link to download this game, it is in the description down below. Uh, thank you guys for joining me. You guys have been awesome. I've been Wilder Gamer. Stay wild.